stickers for laptops to water bottles to planners in cars continue to be one of the most sought after items on Etsy. Tons of people are coming every single month looking to buy a lot of different really unique stickers to put on their items. Creating your own sticker shop on Etsy is one of the best side hustles because you don't need any equipment. You simply design these stickers or sticker packs and then integrate your Etsy account with a place like Printify who is going to take care of everything from printing to shipping, packing your orders, so you can run this almost completely passively. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily create several different stickers in just a few minutes so that you can be on your way to creating your own Etsy shop where you can sell tons of different stickers every single month. Some print-on-demand sellers don't love the idea of just selling stickers in their Etsy shop, but I think it's a really missed opportunity. Even though stickers tend to have a little bit of a lower profit margin than say a hoodie or a t-shirt, one thing that is really neat about stickers is that people typically aren't just making an order of one sticker. So whereas someone might just buy one t-shirt or a couple, usually when people get a new laptop or water bottle, they're looking to get five, six, or even 10 new stickers to decorate whatever they are doing. So a lot of times if someone loves the aesthetic of your shop, they're already purchasing one sticker. They're really likely to get five, six, seven other stickers to use as well. So a lot of times one customer is making several purchases at once, making it sometimes even be more profit than if you would have just sold a t-shirt to that customer. So I think stickers are a great option and they're such a low ticket item that people continue to purchase them time and time again. It's not a product they have to put a lot of thought into purchasing because it's just a few dollars. When it comes to choosing what type of sticker you're going to stock your shop with, there are so many options. So I'm going to share with you all of my favorites on Printify, who is the sponsor of today's video, and which ones I think you should be selling. Then I'll show you exactly how to take your idea, design a best-selling sticker or sticker sheet, and then upload it to Printify and Etsy to actually sell. I am on Printify right now, and as you can see, there are so many options when it comes to the stickers that they have. They have everything from holographic to transparent to white background to sticker sheets, sticker pages, and just big kiss cut stickers. I'm going to share with you a couple of my favorites today. So the sticker that I think tends to be the biggest money maker is actually their big kiss cut sticker. These are the kind that you think of when people are getting those really big laptop or water bottle stickers. That's just one picture or image. This one right here is by Spoke Custom Products. It looks very sharp and it starts at just over a dollar, even less if you have Printify Premium, which allows you to get up to 20% off of all the products that you would want to sell. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly how to design a one-of-a-kind sticker to sell in your Etsy shop using this exact sticker type. So I'm going to click Start Designing. One thing that I typically like to do is on Printify, they are going to give you the dimensions that you need and a template to use for every type of product that they have, just so that you can optimize the size and quality of your artwork. All right, so I am going to look down here and it is going to tell us the exact dimensions that we need. So the print area is going to be 559 by 559 pixels at 300 dpi. So to make this product, I'm actually going to head over to Kittle to start creating our sticker. All right, so I am logged onto Kittle, which is a great place with all sorts of templates and design features. If you are a print on demand seller, I can't recommend them enough. So I am going to go ahead and start a new project. And then we are going to put in all the information that Printify gave us about what size we should be using. So I'm going to make it so it's 300 dpi and then I'm going to change the width and the height to that 559 and then we just simply push create. All right, so I have really been loving that groovy hippie aesthetic. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere anytime fast. And a lot of people have been searching for groovy inspired stickers to put on all of their items. So we are going to be creating some groovy stickers today. I'm going to go ahead and name this groovy Printify sticker. Now, first you wanna figure out if you want your sticker to say something or it's just simply going to be an image or collection of images. So today I think I'm going to really take inspiration from that groovy wavy lettering that has been selling super well. And I'm gonna have a sticker that says something like keep grooving on. All right, so first I'm just going to add some text to this sticker. Kittle actually has a lot of different text options that you can start with, but sometimes I just like to add a little bit of text and then I will change it up myself later. All right, so now that we have our text, I'm gonna start putting it into that groovy wavy style that is so popular right now. All right, so on Kittle, there's a font I really like called Sunny Drop. It just has that perfect groovy look. So I'm going to go ahead and change all of the letters to that font. 
All right, so I am liking how this text is looking and now I wanna be able to distort it to give it that wavy, groovy look. All right, so that is starting to look good, but I don't really love just the black color. So I wanna add something a little bit brighter as well. So I'm gonna look and see if there's any hippie, groovy inspired elements that I can pull some colors from as well. All right, so this I wouldn't necessarily use in the sticker, but I do love the object colors that it gave us. So I'm gonna pull some of those colors into the lettering. And then just to give a little bit more definition, I'm gonna go ahead and create a little bit of a border on all of these letters. All right, now with keeping with that hippie, I'm going to look through all of the elements and see what I can find that would look good on this sticker. I really like this mushroom. And again, we will change a lot of these colors to just make them fit more with what we're doing here. All right, so once you've added a bunch of those elements that you want and you've got the text and all the colors exactly how you wanted, I like to make sure that all of the colors kind of stay within one palette. Then you're ready to go ahead and download the artwork. For stickers, you always want to remove the background if it's going to be that kiss cut style because you want it to actually go around the image. And then I'm going to optimize the quality and download it as a PNG. All right, now we are back on Printify and I'm gonna go ahead and upload that artwork we just created onto the sticker template that Printify gives us. All right, so right away we can see the mock-up of our sticker and then we can actually take a look and preview the design to see what it would look like as an actual sticker. All right, so as you can see it, created that outline all along the sticker. I think it looks pretty good. There are a couple different options, both transparent and white. I typically like to give both of those as an option to customers, just because white sometimes looks a little bit better on some products than others. I think that looks pretty good. And Printify also shows you what it's going to look like on a real world mock-up example. So I think that looks very cute on a laptop or on a box like that. All right, so I am going to save this as a draft before we link it to Etsy. And then I'm gonna show you how you can create one other type of sticker on Printify. So the next type of sticker that you can create on Printify that does really, really well on Etsy is actually going to be a sticker sheet. This sticker sheet right here with four separate quadrants is one that does really well. And I like that customers, they often feel like they're getting a lot more for the price of one sticker. So right here, you can see they printed four different images and we can do that exact same thing, keeping within that groovy theme, except this time we actually would be able to sell four separate stickers. So I'm gonna push start designing. And with things that are often a little bit more complicated, Printify actually has an area where you can download the template for when you're actually designing. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this design template to my laptop. And again, it's telling us exactly what it wants for the print area. So this is going to be 825 by 525 with 300 DPI. So let's head back over to Kittle and start creating this. Again, I'm going to create a new product and put in those dimensions. All right, so for this design, we are actually going to be creating four separate products to download using these dimensions, and then we're going to upload them. So I'm first going to use that design that we created for the last one, but I'm also going to put three other designs as well. For this first one, I'm just simply going to do a text design that says something like make today groovy. And then I'm going to change the font again to that sunny drop that we used for the last. All right, so I'm going to resize this to make sure that it can take up as much as of the sheet as possible. And then keeping within the same color palette, I'm going to find some other hippie inspired elements that I can draw some colors from. And then I'm not going to add a lot more to this design. I'm just simply going to warp it a little bit. And then we're going to download our second of the four designs. Now for the next two, I'm going to create more graphic inspired designs to go along with those stickers. And I'm going to change this to say something like groovy mix. And make it in that same font. Right, and I'm going to download that again. Now for our next design, I just want to include a lot of groovy elements. So I typically just wanna keep playing around with that until I'm really satisfied with how it looks. So this is very simple, but we will just go ahead and download it. Now back on Printify, we're gonna go ahead and upload all of our designs. All right, so we make sure that all the artwork fits within there, and now we're gonna go ahead and preview this. So there's several different ways that they can print these stickers. I do really love this holographic type. You can see a little bit closer here. That is super cool. But a lot of times, if you just want it to look like how you designed, you can just do the plain white background. That is really cool. And a lot of times what people are looking for. 
when you do create these packs, I think it is important to kind of pay attention to the coordinating colors and how all of these look together. But I think this is a really cool sticker pack that would do really, really well on Etsy. You could actually create an entire store just with groovy sticker designs or an entire store with a bunch of different niches, but just for laptop and water bottle stickers. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this product. Now you're going to need to know how to integrate a product with Etsy through Printify. If you haven't created a Printify account already, it's completely free and I will link all of their information down below. I can't say enough good things about them and I love them being my print production partner. So if you don't know how to do that, make sure you watch this video right here where I'm going to show you how to set up your listing and integrate your shops with Etsy and take you through the exact process of how you create a new product. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.